New York City Police Department officers are taking their department to new heights, literally. The trio spent seven days climbing Mount Kilimanjaro to honor a fallen officer and raise money for children with cancer. So far, they've raised more than $20,000 for the Ronald McDonald House of New York. We are honored to have today New York City Police Department lieutenants, screen left, Charles Trento, in the center, Manny Kuo, and Detective Nicholas Stastocker, Anna Stastark. Oh. Mr. Sacos. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nailed it. It's, it's a tough one. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for joining us live. Thank you, Pat. All right. So this, this idea all came because you were watching TV, and there's Mandy Moore. Right. Um, she was on the Ellen Show, and she was talking about her climb of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. And I saw it, and it resonated with me. And um, I knew I wanted to do it. I wanted right. to do it for charity. Then I ran into Nick in a hallway. And... Yeah. Um, we had a whole conversation about like the mountain and just trying to get the idea conceptualized. This and, isn't just yeah. any mountain. This is Africa's highest point, 19,000 feet. Had any of you ever done anything like that before? Never. Never. No, nothing like this. Never. Absolutely. So why did you think you could do it? We knew it was going to be a challenge. We, um, we knew it was going to be hard, but... Just like the kids fighting at the Ronald McDonald House mm -hmm. of New York, um, that's where the real battle's going on every day. And we wanted to bring awareness and uh, really raise some money. And I would, I'm really happy to say that my boss, Commissioner Tesh, yeah. um, from the NYPD, matched dollar for dollar, bringing the amount to over $40,000. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Lieutenant Quo, tell me yes. about your training. Yeah, so uh, I, th I think it varied for the three of us, but mo most of it was just about the, the cardio aspect of the trip and uh, just building our endurance because uh, over the course of seven days, we were doing uh, various distances, various uh, altitudes every, every day. So it was just a matter of get making sure that we had the endurance to make it up those heights and, you know, being able to control our breathing at those heights because obviously the lack of oxygen was a real factor the closer we got to the summit. Did you get dizzy? Uh, personally, yes. Personally, I did. Uh, about day six, day seven, a little bit dizzy, but, you know, the, our guides at uh, Killy Warriors Expeditions that helped us up there, you know, they just kept reassuring us that this is normal. So um, we just kept going. So at any point, did any of you say to yourselves, this was a great idea, but what, what, what are we doing? I, I, I'd like to turn around or, you know, maybe this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, I think some, the nights were kind of tough yes. uh, because you weren't able to get a good night's sleep. Uh, you're, you're breathing. You're very, sleeping on the side of a mountain. It's, yes. it's cold. You're on the mountain. Your breathing is very labored. So uh, I think we had some like soul searching moments uh, think, at night. Yeah, I think Nick and I had the, the conversation <laughs> more than yeah. once about that. And, um, you know, but it's just ever since uh, Megan Celeste uh, introduced us to the Ron McDonald House up in the Upper East Side, I mean, it's just it's something we could not help but be a part of. Well, you've already raised, what, 40, 40, over $40,000? 40, over $40,000. If people would like to uh, contribute, go to our website, foxandfriends.com, and we will link to it. Tell us what it was like after those days climbing up to the top, what it was like when you got to that gate. It was absolutely amazing. Um, like, uh, Man like Manny said, we had our guides, uh, Killy Warrior ex Expeditions, with us the whole time. And just seeing the sign and knowing that we finally made it, um, I felt like the pressure was off and um, we could actually enjoy it. Yes. Enjoy I think, uh, you know, from the start, we'd all talked about being able to hold up that NYPD flag on that summit. And I think nothing was going to stand in our way of doing yeah. that. And being able to hold that Ronald McDonald flag also with us on that summit was something which, you know, that just allowed us over the course of seven days getting up to mm -hmm. that summit to just take one step at a time and, uh, you know, do the best we can to make it. That was the ultimate motivation. Yes. Well, you can cross that off your bucket list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's next? Well, I'm <laughs> resting. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on temporary height. <laughs> I mean, no, uh, I, I don't know about me. There's a <laughs> Europe high, Europe's highest point um, <laughs> right outside the, uh, Georgia, Republic of Georgia. You've That's got a plan. Over, yeah, we've got a plan. <laughs> well, good and luck. I'll, I'll convince these guys into it. I All think right. for me, I'm, I'm, uh, this, this Friday, uh, some of the, NY, the sports teams of the NYPD are actually going to be at the Ron McDonald House making dinner for the families. Oh, that's fantastic. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. No more climbing for a bit. All for right. Me. Well, guys, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for your for service, keeping us so safe here in New York. And thank uh, you. what a climb. That's thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.